what's up guys not the winner here and i want to talk to you guys about gear like crafting and how to get better gear without crafting um while you're traveling throughout the world you'll notice that you start to get different mods and the mods are going to be dropped around the level that you are so the higher level you get the better gear that you're going to get including mods and different suits there's times where i come back and i've picked up a new suit and i'm like wow this one's really op and if you look this one has a higher power but it's way weaker than my incendiary suit so don't always pay attention to the power it's not the best indicator there um so i, I will point that out first of all uh anyone who's using power as their only system is going to notice that they uh, es essentially are going to be using weaker gear than most other people without realizing it at first um one of the great things about the gear system, though, is utilizing the proper mods. Some mods are extremely low on power, but are actually are far better than any of the other mods that you may have had the opportunity to put in. And the different elements on the suits. Like, for example, people throw a lot of fire bombs, so you might want fire resistance on your suit. But when it comes to your weapons, that's the effect that they're going to put on. So if I make both my weapons apply freeze there's a high chance that I'm going to freeze the enemy and get a very good opportunity to get whatever hits I need in or take down the enemy that I actually want to fight while that other enemy is frozen. Uh, I was using the concussion ranged one because it's great when it gets them stunned and then you can do all sorts of things that you need to do in that time, but I'm really going to be uh, pushing this cryogenic build to see how well I can make it work. Um... <clears throat> when it comes down to crafting, though, you need all these materials, and guess what? I've never run out of materials. So far in this game, everything's extremely easy to craft, nothing costs a lot, and you get way more materials than what you could ever use. Uh, looking at the suit, though, you can craft really nice suits, but oops. Uh, when you look at it, at the top right, there's that little dot. That tells you how many sockets you have. And if you look over on the right-hand side of the screen, it tells you all the stats of the item. And then the bottom right, it tells you if there's a socket, right? Uh, so some, some items you can get two sockets on, uh, like the modular suits here. But even with two sockets, you're likely not going to beat out whatever stats you're able to put onto it. Because um, if you look at the mods for the armor here, it's plus 11 health. 8% elemental resist, 17 health. So very small amounts compared to the total health that you're actually receiving on the armor. So my own armor that I'm wearing with 243 health and 1530 defense is going to be far better that, than an incendiary suit. Because even if I were to equip the chip to that one, it's just not going to become strong enough. Uh, I'm actually using the incendiary, so like it, the chip would make it become equal in this case uh but like one like this is not going to pass it up just because the health is going to be like 50 lower still so just something to think about when you're looking at it two sockets isn't always like oh i need to use this item typically you can find something with better stats that's going to suit you better uh weapons when looking at weapons i noticed something very very interesting so see this modular incendiary one right here it has 17 damage, 32 elemental effect, 9% crit damage. That 9% crit damage, for whatever reason, must have taken a huge amount away, away from uh, the damage here. Let's actually take out all the mods on that. Yeah, so if I take off... So it still gets it. Wait, wait. Is this on it? Yeah, we gotta take that off. So, it's actually a 79 power weapon, and the two mods on it were masking how high its power was. Uh, the cryogenic tomfa, it's 168. And if you look, 17 damage, 15 elemental effect, 50 damage, 59 elemental effect. So far better in that case. We definitely want that one equipped, and we're definitely going to throw a mod on it. This one right here. Boom. It's nice and powerful again. Uh, but 
it you really got to pay attention to the stats not just what power says because i was using a 17 damage weapon when i have 50 damage weapons just because i wasn't paying attention to my sockets right you don't want to do that and that's going to be a huge mistake for you when <laughs> you know when you're fighting and it takes three times as long to kill an enemy you're going to be regretting it so make sure that you're actually constantly upgrading the weapons in the right way and not doing terrible weapons with really strong mods to make it look powerful um that's really about it when it comes to the weapons you want to make sure that you run a good synergy of elements on them and make sure that you're constantly upgrading them not too much else about it, but if you guys did enjoy this video or it was helpful to you in any way at all, I know I did ramble a bit in this one, uh, <laughs> but uh, please like and subscribe and thanks so much for watching.